and we are about to have a queen herself, the delectable. Oh, man. I, words alone do not describe how I feel about her, but she's really dear to my heart. Fadikemi Olumide Aloko is a multifaceted professional known for her roles as an actor, lawyer, poet, author, and educational leader. Her journey into acting was influenced by her lifelong passion for storytelling and the performing arts. She has since participated in several productions, including Refuge, an African Magic Original Series, Blossom Season 2 on Showmax, and several soon-to-be-released Netflix, Prime Video, and YouTube film productions. Her latest work, The Presidency, a riveting political thriller, will be in the cinemas next year. We are super excited to have you with us. It's so great to be back. You have not only graced the movie scene, you have taken mm. over with your elegance and your <laughs> poise, you know. And, you know, the way you carry yourself is so much demure. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you so much. Absolutely um, love it's it. It's been a roller coaster. It of, has. Of just joy. It's such a joyous thing to have the opportunity to do what you love, you know, MM. I'm sure you know. Yes, I do. Um, I do because, I mean, I'm doing what I love. <laughs> exactly. And I don't know if you've noticed that I'm wearing... Yes, you MM, are. You're MM wearing MM the brand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I made sure I turned out in it today. Oh, I love thank it you so, so much. much. You know, anywhere thank I go, you. people want to borrow it or I take used, it from oh, me. And, you know, I always you so let them much. know thank you so much. where I got it so from. Much. In thank case you don't know, she's a designer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank as well you. as many other things. Thank so, you, so much, you know, man. I'm in good company. Thank you. How is the, you know, I mean, the last time you were here, we talked about you, your first, that was in the the African Magic series? Yes, Covenant. 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 Right. And uh, so far you have gone on to, you know, feature in a few other movies, series. How has Dozens, that journey MM. been? Dozens. It's been a roller coaster. I don't use that word. I use that word intentionally. Intentionally. In the sense that um, it's been a huge learning curve. I've been extremely busy. Uh, I'm very grateful to God for that because... That's not always the case with mm. actors. In fact, I've come to find in these two years uh, on the scene that a lot of actors suffer financially mm. uh, because of unsteady work, you know. So it's very important for um, actors to diversify Into their, other things. their offering and their skill uh, in order to make the very difficult ends in this country to meet. Mm. So God has been very, very kind, and that's not lost on me at all. You know, and the question for me has been, if God has graced you with these opportunities, how do you want to use them? You know, that's a very, very important question. Yes, it is. Uh, it starts with the craft itself, you know, always wanting to push the envelope, be the best that you can be in terms of an actor in performance. And then just using that um, agency socially to positively affect lives and affect, you know, affect positive change in society. So it's just been, it's been joyful, oh, very joyful. Right. Not easy, yeah. but very joyful. Um, the movie industry doesn't seem to have, when it comes to all the roles, um, it's, just, it's, it's not um, in terms of the people you know, in that space. There are not so many of them. It's just a small circle. And that's why you'd see a lot more of the RMDs, mm -hmm. the Shafi Bello, the mm -hmm. Shola Shobo Ali, mm -hmm. the Fadi Kemis. It's just a really small circle. <laughs> I mean, um, and then we have quite a large number of younger people yes. who are, you know, dominating the industry Absolutely. and are doing so well. Absolutely. How does that make you feel in terms of um, inclusion? Right. Well, ageism, ageism is a thing. You know, it right. happens in every other straight, strata of society. Right. So, Nollywood and acting isn't going to be an exception. Um, but, you know, in life, when you're faced with something that seems to be a disadvantage, you try to make it work to your advantage. advantage. You know, and it's, it's, it really is a brilliant time to be in the industry because now storytellers are really thinking outside the box. Sure. You know, we've been telling the same stories for all decades, yeah. but all of a sudden, over the past, well, not all of a sudden, but over the past decade, there's been, there's been this, you know, slow bursting out into all sorts of 
genres. Magnificent genres and beautiful stories. And so it's an exciting time for everybody, whatever your age, to be, to be totally honest with you. My heart goes out to actors that find it difficult to find work because that's very common. It is. So, you know, you have, say, the top 10% who are very active yeah. and then you have the remaining 90% who are not so not active. So and the talent doesn't necessarily lie within the 10%. So it's quite um, a maze, a difficult maze when it comes to actually living from your, making a living from your craft in Nigeria as an actor. I really want to emphasize that because that's something that not many people know. When they see actors on social media, yeah, you know, putting glam. their best foot yeah. forward and looking all glam, um, they don't necessarily know the hardships that um, actors with. often go through. Yeah. But coming back to your question about age, um, I thought it was going to be a disadvantage when I started. But what I found is that because there are not as many older women who have this particular set of skills for performance, I tend to get more work Ooh. than many of the, say, younger, younger. Um, actors in, in similar situations. Oh, fantastic. Mm. That's, that's great. Let's mm. talk about your latest project, The Presidency. Um, super excited about that one. Congratulations. So Thank you, you played so the much. lead um, yes. cast character in the, the movie and it's very passionate to you or for you because I mean we are quite in an interesting time right mm. here um, especially when it comes to women's participation in leadership in governance and even yes. taking up positions you know in other in a lot of in different industries we've seen a lot of women doing so well in other industries indeed but in the politics and governance indeed it's still a struggle we're still playing catch the percentage up. is very little absolutely it, it's it's basically next to nothing absolutely. and then we have um i mean uh, the u.s president-elect yes. yeah, i mean she, i mean she's Kamala Harris yes, right now in the yes. U.S. Anyway, just talk to us about the, pres the, the movie, The Presidency. Well, I'm very, very excited um, about that movie. It all started when I was actually filming Covenant. And one of the directors that I met on that set told me about a story he had in his heart about a woman leader. Ah. And he told me this story and I found it so amazing because I'd never heard anything like it and then forgot about it. Two years down the line, he comes back and says, it's okay, time. it's time, <laughs> you know, um, which really, really gladdened my heart because I play the lead role in a movie that is about women in leadership. Yeah. And that's something that I feel um, we need to talk more, more about, about, about what that means for society and what that means for women in general. Um, you were talking about the fact that um, the percentage of women, women leaders is very small, partic particularly in Nigeria. Yes. Why is that? I think those are the questions we should be asking ourselves. I mean, Do we as a society feel that women don't have the capacity, capacity to lead? To lead. Sure. Or what, what is? We will continue this conversation um, some other time. Unfortunately, we've run out of time.